So we'll yes. transition into Knives and Erskine heading into uh, the end of that tunnel. I'm going into good smelling times. Yeah, I gave the option for Erskine to go away, but I'm just walking. Okay. At the point uh, at the point that it's at, Erskine just landed inside of the pit where he was before. Um, he hasn't decided which route he's going to go yet. <laughs> so let's let uh, Knives kind of figure out their situation and stuff like that. We'll go from We're now. going to the good smells and away from the bad ones. Okay, so... You head that way? Yeah. Uh, you enter a room that feels hot and stuffy, but offers a sweet and pleasant aroma. More oil lamps hang from the ceiling, illuminating a garden with a glass wall where you can see the moonlight. Cacti and flowers grow rampant. A small pathway is before you, leading to a camp where you see a woman seated. She has long hair, and it looks like she's just dressed simply in a gunny sack with holes for her arms to fit through. Mm. She has a welcoming demeanor and waves for you to join her. Hello? So you're going to walk up and, and say hi? Yeah, I'll walk up and say, I don't okay. suppose you know where a certain son of a shadow king is being held or something? Uh, she says no, um, but she's very familiar with Fletcher, who she knows oh, would be the one yes. to hold him. <clears throat> she introduces herself as Lesdi. Lesdi. And she's very nice and polite to you, talking to you, welcoming you. And she explains to you how she was trying to turn a creature known as the Gut Worm against Fletcher. And then she explains to you the Gut Worm is this giant, massive, evil creature that lives in the Rot Black Sludge. Uh, she believes Terrible. that consuming the sludge gives this worm its powers and incredible strength. Uh, every time she tries to get to Fletcher, the gut worm prevents her from doing anything. And then um, as you're there, she introduces uh, three more companions of hers. Just three young women that sit beside her and enjoy, and they drink a tea together. Oh, didn't see you there. Hmm. <clears throat> you, oh, you don't happen to know where Fletcher is. Oh, he... Do you? He tends to stay um, at the forge, where he creates uh, all sorts of abominations and um, that's also where his ovens are, uh, that any poor soul, souls that wander in here, uh, they never come back because they're his meals. So if you were to point in a direction... Uh, it's in the, the northernmost part. Um, if you go to the end of this tunnel, and there's a crack in the wall. Uh, it's on the other side of the rock black sludge. Past the skeletons playing their violins. Oh. Oh. I see we've made a poor choice. Well, thank you for your time. Enjoy your beverage. I'm going to leave now. She offers if you'd like to have part of the beverage. I kind of like peer into one of the, like, whatever decanter, cup, whatever it's in. Just kind of, like, look and looks see, like... like... Mm -hmm. Looks like tea. I have a little time, why not? <laughs> it's been so long since I've been out and about, so why not? Let's just have it. It's just one, just one sip. How bad could it be? <laughs> Um, you're served a brew that heals 1d6 of HP. So roll I a d6. I don't have any. I haven't lost any. 
I'm full up. I, think I feel funny. really good. I've taken nothing. <laughs> Guess who has Our skin taken took one. a lot? Oh, okay. <laughs> I bit people. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. Um, so yeah, you sit there and chat, and you feel a calming sensation, <laughs> and then suddenly, the ground <laughs> feels like it's sinking. The <laughs> walls ripple like ocean waves, and the three companions attack you. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, you begin to sweat and slur. All of your attack and defense rolls are minus two. I think something was in that heat. So, Great. Roll for initiative. I'm gonna die. It's only a four. That's fine. They're rolled terrible. <gasps> how lovely. How great. How wonderful. How terrible for them. Um, but let's see what Erskine was doing. It's a great question. Um, so Erskine's basically between Erskine showed up after Vaughn went through the crack. Correct, and, and yeah, knives but, had already wandered. And knives yeah, went into knives a, had pointed knives had pointed towards the crack and was like, if you want to see the skeleton friends, they're that way. <laughs> Just uh, 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 uh. <laughs> um, that's a great question. Can Erskine even fit through the crack? Are you considered large? Pretty. Uh, where would it say that? it anyway well you're 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 just wearing regular armor right and you're just a regular i'm wearing leather armor and a, i guess a backpack i don't know if that matters yeah then you'd fit oh okay so i can fit where where von was going yes i feel like erskine would want to get to the skeletons that he saw so he would want to know and if if Knives said that the skeletons are in the crack where Vaughn went, and Erskine secretly considers Rodney a best friend because he tastes good. So and, he, and he's just bones and teeth. Yeah, so Erskine would just be like, eh, okay, <laughs> just walk towards. <laughs> unfortunately, Vaughn. <laughs> Excellent. Playing the character. That's. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, technically, we would have, uh, I guess, at the rate that it would have been going. I landed in the pit as Knives was going to the other room. So Erskine has no reason to think that they should go into the room that Knives was in. They're just like, oh, okay, the skeletons are in that room. Let's go to that room. So Erskine, unfortunately, <laughs> goes to that room. Uh, you're on your own, Knives. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> We'll do knives combat. Um, they're just Yay. three young women dressed in rags with knives. I'm, eat them easily. I'm knives. Who's gonna run away? Well, I'm gonna stumble away in my, you know, whatever bad time I'm having. Roll two d6 for me. Four. D4. You get a little distance, but one of them catches up. Uh oh. I'm sure this is fine. Uh, so roll a D20. Got a 19. Okay, so they swing at you, and they miss. You continue to stumble. I'm gonna make you do another two Ds. Nine. Nine. All right. The other one tries to reach you, but can't seem to catch up to you, even despite your... That... Yeah. Alright, you're getting a little closer to the tunnel, um, but roll another 2d6. Seven. Seven? Uh, the other one gets right next to you, and tries to slash, and just barely misses you. Ah, ah! <laughs> Is what you will hear, Erskine. 
kind of echoing down the hall. Right. Sounds like normal voices of people enjoying a meal. Terror <laughs> 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 skin. <laughs> You're running down the dark tunnel, heading towards the crack you saw everyone going through. Roll one last pair of d6. Three. One manages to catch up to you and slash it. I don't want. And they hit you for two damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as you're kind of sliding through, they just kind of see a limb still waiting to get through and just slash right at it. If you break through. Ow! <laughs> Erskine oh. probably turns around and sees that you've been slashed and just goes, Oh, you dropped some good spices there. You got your juices all over the floor. <laughs> or your sauces. <laughs> you dropped your sauces. <laughs> I played around uh, with... There's a morale mechanic, which you can scare them off. However, you need to have beaten some of them first, so I kind of just played around with the mechanic. <laughs> that was a good idea. So you're a good job, Chase. You're doing you're good. it. You're, you're learning that the rules don't I matter at the end of it. Out of my <laughs> <ear>. <laughs> um, I think as uh, knives like stumbles backwards and gets like sliced up, they like hit the ground, and then their body starts like contorting again. And this time, instead of getting the smaller, it starts to get bigger. Um, until, uh, and this time it's not an, an unaudible scream. They're, they're, they are now very loudly yelling and screaming in pain as their bones change and shift and morph again. Um, and they're, they're, they're bigger, they're beefier now. Um, and they're just like laying on the ground and they say, well, that was not... Because he party. Uh, <laughs> I like. Bad. Okay. I scrape I'm... some of the blood off of the wall as you squeeze through the thing and I lick it up and as you go, oh, I'm sorry, did you want any? Ah! It's mine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Finders keepers. <laughs> as far as the two of you see. Uh, there's the two skeletons in the middle of the sludge on the tall pillar, just playing their music. Um, the wall right beside you, when you came through, uh, is illuminated and reflective with light of multicolored gems. Um, but knives learn something about the sludge. I'm just, like, standing there licking up knives' blood. <laughs> uh, it's Carva, by the way. Just want to make sure you know, Jason. We but came knives back. knew. Knives knew. This is correct. This is correct. Which is unfortunate for everyone involved that Knives isn't here right now. <laughs> <laughs> knives knew all the information, right? <laughs> yep. Yep. Welcome to Mark Bark. <laughs> Welcome to Mark Bark. <laughs> Where when the knives know all and it's, we got it's, nothing on it. Got nothing. <laughs> okay, so uh, three of you are in this um, room with the gems, and you see across the rock black sludge a uh, room of light. You can kind of make through the haze that there's just another room with some lights over on the other side. Uh, the gem wall behind you, and another door, uh, well, just an opening uh, on the far end from where you just came. <sighs> I was like, push myself up. Huh. You know, I I feel like I I vaguely were maybe we seen this before. Rodney, you find anything? Uh, Rodney thinks we should we should we should. Uh, request the skeletons come down. And we'd gonna, like to meet. The, we'd like to meet the band. I'm gonna nibble on Rodney a little bit, see if he's telling the truth. 
<laughs> we'll just quietly chomp his chomp is what you do. That's yeah. yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, get him in there. Yeah, let me lick a little bit. <laughs> What if they're not friendly? What if they're not friendly though? What if they? What if they um don't want to show us their stuff? I have never met an unfriendly skeleton. How many skeletons have you met? Three today. <laughs> I made a few. Yeah. They were delicious. <laughs> I'm <laughs> still covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> What's that uh, stuff in the center of the room, though? Is that? I don't. I don't there's some. It feels like I should know, but I don't know. I bet I can eat it. Yes. I mean, maybe, maybe it's like combustible. I'll bet you thirty silver I can eat that. Yeah. <laughs> Please stop, Erskine. <laughs> I will never stop our skin from why would living. We? Why true would we? Why would we? In this a, world, in I this world, know. why would we stop our skin? Yeah, stop. at the very least, you will let us know if we should not do this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay. I see the skeleton. So the skeletons are on pillars, and they're playing a some sort of music, it's, right? It's it's one pillar in the center, um, about fifty feet high, and it's just they're playing back to back violins. And there's some sort of liquid in the middle of the room, is what you said? Sludge! Some it's... might call it a rot black sludge. <laughs> some might call it that. <laughs> I guess Erskine, in his uh, fervor for tasting everything as, his, as he Lick wanted, it! I'm gonna, like, walk up to the water, uh, to the rot black sludge edge and just kind of, like, r try to reach my hand into it. To grab uh, the intention is to grab something to put it in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Um, you grab some. It's been and, nice known, yeah. And roll your toughness. <gasps> toughness. Uh, which is negative one. So let's see. <laughs> it's a six. <clears throat> I swear, um, Vaughn is the only one that actually makes it out of this. I will laugh. I mean, that's impossible. So Vaughn, use science to get through this horrible world. Science and your best friend. Most people use meat. <laughs> so, by trying to do this, you take three damage. Uh, uh, does my? I'm assuming that my leather armor does nothing, right? No. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> So there, there's, there's a, there's, you don't die. There is a. Oh, there's like a of, death save. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just like put it in my mouth and I turn to you all and just go. <laughs> <laughs> I just fall over. Oh, well, uh, now we know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh. The ability, or instead of death save, this is called your broken body. So roll a d4, and I'll tell you what happened to your broken body. Alrighty, I gotta get a d4, but somebody else can do something while I do that. Well, I don't, Carver, I don't think Erskine's going to make much progress with this, but we are, yeah, we're getting knowledgeable information, so, um... <sighs> Do you think maybe you could call calls to the skeletons, or maybe shoot an arrow just past them? Uh, 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 I got a one. <laughs> I will oh, try so to shoot an arrow. Funny enough, uh, so for Erskine, funny enough, this is actually the best time to roll low. Oh, <laughs> good. Um, you are unconscious for two rounds. <laughs> just laying in this pool. <laughs> and <laughs> the sludge just kind of like Wah. wow. Yeah, just coming out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm not using these dice for you guys anymore. They're very nice to you. <laughs> um, so you're you're Good, we're making bad rounds, decisions. So like, um, but you'll actually wake back up with three health. Oh. Well, that's good. Oh. So what you're saying is the rot black sludge is a good thing. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, try to shoot an arrow roughly in the direction of the skeletons. At sure. the suggestion oh, of Vaughn. Sure. Right in the direction. Don't, please don't hit the beautiful. I can't. <laughs> listen, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't get control this thing once it gets in the air. Twelve. Okay. Flies past them. They don't react. Oh, too enraptured by the sounds of, of beauty. I say, I have a uh, quick question. This might sound like a very weird question, but um, did anything happen while I was gone? Well, let me. I struggle to remember. We we, we fell down a hole. I'm <laughs> <came> here. <laughs> and now you're here. How did I get this? And I'll just like lift up my leg, and it has like that giant slash in it from a knife. <laughs> Uh, I, I think. Uh, well, 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 hold on. Where was uh, Oh, God, what was it? It was uh, uh, a puma, I think, with, uh, with 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 blades attached to its mouth. <laughs> if memory serves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems right. <laughs> seems about right for this world. Oh, it checks out. <laughs> yeah, it's got tattoos on its oh. head too. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think Erskine ate it. It's fine. Oh, oh, well, oh. I don't think Erskine's going to eat anything anytime soon. So maybe we just leave the sludgy skeletons alone and maybe we go that way. And I'll just like point towards the doorway. That seems safe. I'll look up uh, to be continued and I will follow Carver. <laughs> Start limping my way down, <laughs> thinking Erskine... Or can live to go life. They're <laughs> fine. They're gonna <laughs> just gonna hang out. Fine. They're gonna become sludge now. <laughs> I've tasted everything I've wanted to taste. So you guys are <laughs> going to the next room, right? Most yep. people. I hope it's a terrible terror room that makes us die instantly. Um, sure. You enter. A room that is dimly lit with a chill breeze blowing through. The breeze causes chains above you to rattle as you look up and see many hooked chains hanging from the ceiling. You notice bloody tracks on the floor that seem to lead in no particular direction. In the middle of the room is a sarcophagus. This doesn't look good. Like Rodney better. just looks. Well, I think we have. <laughs> oh no. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, I did. Uh, Carver, if you wouldn't mind, I'd, I'd love to see what's inside. Uh, 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 bye, bye. Well, I have. Me and Rodney have an affinity for uh, old friends, and I'd love to. I'd love to take a gander, but these. These weak, these weak flesh poles, they can't, they can't lift such heavy. Smash cut back to the other <laughs> yeah. room. And I was about to say Erskine is probably waking dying up right on the floor. <laughs> so Erskine's waking up and you're going to open the sarcophagus? <laughs> cough, cough, cough. Are you sure it's a good idea? I've never met a bad skeleton, so yes, it, it must be a good idea. Logic dictates. Sides sure demands. A skeleton in there. Well, that's that's where they live, sometimes, and mummies. And a mummy is just a is just a weird skeleton. <laughs> We're really being honest about it. Just a skeleton with clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You see, like you know what you're talking about. I'm gonna go over there. Uh, and I'm gonna start pushing it, and you just hear you just hear Carver Carver saying, "Don't stop! Wait, what are you doing? Stop it! Don't stop!" <laughs> and you just kind of keep pushing it. All right. So you open it, and you start to hear a faint whistle, and then Carver, you kind of notice your your hair starting to pull into pull? the sarcophagus, and the whistling grows louder, and the wind starts rushing. I don't think the skeletons! I don't think it's- I don't think it's skeletons! I don't think it's skeletons! And 
Can I close it? Can I try to close it? Can I try to close it? Nope, everybody gets pulled in. Except Erskine, ah! not in the room. Except Erskine, he's not in the room. <laughs> so cut to Erskine waking up next to the sledge. It tasted like... It tasted like a... Uh, a steak dinner. A teppanyaki steak dinner that would cost about 350 US dollars. Uh, <laughs> which is delicious by uh, American standards, but terrible by Erskine standards. <laughs> Wakes up, wipes the sludge off of his face, looks up at the skeleton, f probably flicks them off, looks around, sees his, I guess you can call them friends, aren't around, more like co-workers. <laughs> <laughs> Looks through the other room, sees the door is open. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Walks over to the door. So wait, what do I see when I go into that room then? Uh, you see a room full of chains, bloody tracks that lead to no particular direction, and a sarcophagus. Uh, I don't see my friends. Nope. Well, they must have gone into the next room. So. I, uh, walk. You can either go south, down some stairs, or... Is there a north? There's there's a shut door to your north. I'm gonna try the shut door to my north, thinking that they shut it, and also, the idea Erskine has is to get around the rack, uh, rot black sludge, which he doesn't know is called that, I guess, but... Yeah. Uh, to go north to try well, and get around the pool. you know it's pool. sludge, and you know it's black, oh. and you know it left you feeling rotten. But we don't know that that's the objective. That is just oh. the name of the scenario. Nobody has mentioned it yet. <laughs> no one that's you around go? knows anything about it. <laughs> yeah, true. You try to, you go up to the door and realize there's no handle. Push. <laughs> it does nothing. Bite. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything to bite on it? No. It's just a wooden... It, it's an iron door with no handle. What is this? <laughs> so, a serious this? moment for her skin. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm going to look around the room again. <laughs> um, uh, so you said there's stairs to the south? Yes. So, you can roll... Um, and there's a sarcophagus in the middle of the room? Yeah. Okay, so Erskine's... <laughs> Erskine's assumption would be that there is a delicious mummy inside. <laughs> so if nobody else is going to eat it, he's going to lift the sarcophagus. Mummies are the jerky of people. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Right. So you open it, and you hear the whistling, and then the pull. Because you get sucked in. Ah, fuck. 